Like you got all this believing. But they use your measure.
something now. See, but God ready to do some things in your life. God ready. See, 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 I'm gonna believe in a miracle. Amen. It's gonna be a miracle that you're on that level. Yes. God can get you there, but can you stay there? Come on. Will you let that enemy pull you down with the thoughts? God can supernaturally place you out. See, y'all gotta get this because God said, have mercy on who I'm with. So that means God can put you, it, it ain't because you qualify. Amen. It's because God chose you. Amen. Oh, y'all ain't gonna say that. It ain't that you qualify, God chose you. And what you try to qualify, but you don't know it wasn't your qualification, it was God, because God chose you. And you deal with your situation because you don't understand the calling. Because in your calling, where you act in your purpose, you feel you shouldn't be there because the problems you have. But you was chosen by God to be there, like David was chosen, like Solomon was chosen. But you did it with your issues instead of dealing it with your calling. Head 
sitting at the table. When I get through with you, you come off the table. And you go into the Hades. And your voice will be heard. Your voice will be heard. Your voice will be heard. Takes you in a place where God wants you, but the devil hesitates because he wants you to move from where you're at. What you call it, the devil, yes, the devil agitates you, but you can take authority where you're at because this is where you call it. Take your right position in God. And again, to be clear, I'm taking my right position. I command every demon spirit power doctor to get out of my way. I command you to cease your work and stop your strategy right now in the name of Jesus because it ain't going to work. Because God has called me here and chose me for this, and you can't interfere with this. But since you ain't balanced, it's just agitating. To get you out of the place where your rest is going to go. Uh, see, you try to change your mailbox, and that's where your money coming in. you going to mess around and move out your address and mess around. I'll run my shop. Ain't going to miss the mail, man. Miss your check. Because you don't want to sit with God and put your weight on God to open up doors. See, I learned something about God. God will open up doors. I'm going to give y'all this, but I don't know if I should give you because I'm just fresh on it myself. But anyway, you know, I can't hold water. But anyway, y'all. You know, I was sitting right above God said, when did the Holy Ghost speak? He said, I always move. <laughs> he said, I got this the angels in the middle. Yeah. He said, I'm the power of God. Oh, and when you see the power, you move with the power. Yeah. Why would I minister to you when I got this the angels to minister to you? My position is to have the power. I'm the powerhouse of God. I got minister angels to minister you. I'm the powerhouse. And when you see the power, that's what me and you got you. The power of God. When you can't move with the power, you can't be made with the Holy Ghost. Because the Holy Ghost is the power. Let me get off that. Y'all study that with me. Come on, Holy Ghost. 
Because you got to know the power. See, because now you, 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 you've been manipulated by fancy words and don't have no power. Jesus. And now you rely on words without power. Because you think you don't see the move of the Holy Ghost when you haven't seen the move because you've seen no power. That's my stuff. Y'all leave that long. I just had shit with you. Don't be trying to outdo control group with God for minutes to minutes through the Mr. Angels. Because I release this Mr. Angels to minister to me. When I go in there, I went to Ephesians 5 and I think it's 1870. I said, but I release the Mr. Angels to minister to me to tell me what's going on in the atmosphere. Because I'm concerned about all these people with the Holy Ghost speaking to them. And they ain't speaking to me. But the ones he's speaking to, I don't see no power. But every time I see the Holy Ghost in the, in the Bible, I see power. I see when it says, shit ain't go, I have none. But such a have rise up and walk. I see the power of the Holy Ghost lift that man up and heal his body. Yeah. 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 That's just my little nugget. Like, y'all don't worry about that. All y'all hear the Holy Ghost. Y'all just keep hearing it. You'll find out that really happened. But we don't see no power. We don't see no lifestyle. We don't see no miracles. We don't see no patience. So anybody can say, the Holy Ghost spoke to me. Anybody can say that. Because we got to have a power. I said, well, hold on to that. Y'all look at 
me. I'm talking about my leader. Hold on, let me say that. I can't hold the wall again. Y'all just going to help me with that, okay? Y'all going to research the ancient Bible and all the other books out in the dictionary and concordance and everything. Get that. Get that out of there. Look at this. Hallelujah. Don't speak what he told me to, 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 to somebody else. To, to, to somebody else. Now let him kill the spirit of your life. I ain't going to listen to you know it, but you should sure <laughs> Until you can lay hands on me and knock me out, I ain't staying. Amen. I just did. But him that live by the Spirit is the Son of God. Amen. Amen. Live and live with power. Signs of what the followers that believe. Yes. They didn't say nothing about ministry. Signs of what you follow that believe. The Holy Ghost in you cause things to happen around you. So you got to face the truth in order for things to change in your life. Yeah, See, because you need some power in your life right now. Yeah. You don't need just talk. You need to move up the Holy Ghost. Yeah. You need God to come in and intervene. You need yeah. God to come in and move things. You need God the Holy Ghost to go in the computer. You need God the Holy Ghost to go into your body. Yeah. You need God the Holy Ghost the power of God yeah. to begin to move in your life. And everything that you can do that the power. Yeah. You need the power.
Hope you shut your heart up with each other. Because neither one of them can demonstrate no power. Jesus. Hallelujah. You fuss with me, you won't mess around. You won't find out. Y'all ain't gonna say I believe you long enough because I carry the anointing the power. Yeah. Well, well, you carry the power. You gotta watch how you put your name yeah. to even on the lease. Yeah. See, but you, see, you think you want the lease, but you ain't got no power. You ain't no lease power without the power. So you're not a lease without the power. Yeah. That's what folks doing something to you. You think God gonna do something about it, but you ain't a lease. Yeah. Yeah. And you wonder how they get away with this, but you ain't a lease. You ain't expecting the power to show up. You ain't expecting what's in you to keep you here and keep you still. When I open your mouth to speak back, the power will keep you quiet because you know God fight your battle. I ain't got to say, I know it. But when you declare something, you ain't got to say, just bash your word. I'm just speaking the truth. I almost threw my iPad down. Yeah. And I thought about how much it cost. <laughs> <laughs> ain't that good? Ain't that shit? Hey! <laughs> ain't that good? Ain't that good? I thought he could have your cost. Ain't that good? Ain't that good? Y'all with me? You got to begin to say, Lord, back witness to who I am. God. Without your witness, I'll just go by you. Yes. Come on. I'm gonna come on gratis, but it's yours. Yes, Lord. But if you don't be glad and create and put in your come back witness to why I am on your child. Yes. Hallelujah. And they ain't gonna know who I am unless your power ain't through me. Yes. Unless your knowledge perceive me and go before me. Yes. Too many false prophets out there. Too many false preachers out there. Too many people out there talk. Everybody want to preach. Everybody want to teach. Everybody want to lay hands. Everybody want to prophesy. God, show your power. Separate me from the faith. Separate me from those that are real. Separate me by your power. Because I can't talk to them. You smart.
people satisfied with it. Jesus. Because they ain't used to no power. Amen. Oh, I got to get in the presence. I got to get in the presence of the Lord. Yes. I can't just sit home and, and look at nothing on YouTube. Yes. I need to get in the presence of God. Yes. I got to get in the presence of God. I know God, so that fills me up. Yes. I need to hold it up for because I need to keep feeling. I need my cup to run over because yes. I'm dealing with some things in my life. I need God to move. I can't afford to not be a person that's going to the power because yes. I'm going through some empty out every week. Every week I go on my job, I'm empty out. Every time I'm in my house, I'm empty out. I need to go through I can be filled up. I need to get in the whole And you stay at home. You don't understand the power. You are not knowing it right now. You're at the gas pump. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Because I'm saved. Yeah. I'm sanctified. Yeah. And I believe in a better place. We all see out there. Coming off. I ain't been good for you. Y'all better ask somebody. Come on. If you know some of the things I said, you'll say I'm ashamed. You shouldn't say that. Mm. Glory to God. Come on. And they ain't good because they ain't got nothing to deal with. Come on. What are they doing? Yeah. with? So each his own. People do what they do. That's on you, but that don't try to put that on me. Yeah, they had that. Hallelujah. If I want to cry, you know I cry right here in front of you. I put it down right here, boo boo and everything. It's not and everything. Y'all be trying to wipe my nose up here. <laughs> and then when I get done, they're still the same. <laughs> Like y'all do. Oh, but God's good. Amen. We all do. Amen. Let me tell you something. Enjoy every moment, every hour that you have on this earth. Amen. Because your time is running out. Amen. No matter who you is, stop all that foolish, all that arguing. And are disappointed and not getting along because you're wasting time. Come on. Amen. And if you knew about time, Come on, Holy Ghost. you'll stop all that. Amen. You'll know how to draw watch the ants eat up your wood. <laughs> and that's his life. Around here worrying about the wrong thing. We say, baby, take what we got. But we ain't got us some water and some Kool-Aid. We ain't got no sugar. Just put that in there. And we're gonna act like it's sweet. Come on. This toast. Enjoy mm -hmm. <laughs> what you got. Go on about the yeah. We all waiting on this perfect thing on earth. We're taking something up to see you with this perfect life on earth. Amen. It don't exist. Amen. Amen. Perfect families don't exist. Amen. Perfect relationship don't exist. Amen. Amen. Come on, Holy Ghost. Amen. The holy hands at Walmart, you should see his nose. He's <laughs> 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 so angry, he beat the wall up. He's mad. He had no problem getting afraid of Not about her marriage, you should see what she said when you ain't right. <laughs> she got somebody she can talk to. She's telling them, he just, he just, he just made me sick. <laughs> he know that aggravate me. He know it. And mama, he still do it, mama. And you know, mama, she done been divorced five times. Ooh. Hang on in there, girl. It's going to be all right. But you need that man. You need that man. There ain't nothing else out like there, girl. You remember what you got? Something's better than me. <laughs> you don't want to be like your mama now. <laughs> Pretty good. You know, daddy's a little different. Daddy's is something like that. They look and say, boy, they can take some boy. You ain't leaving yet, boy. That ain't nothing, boy. <laughs> boy, that ain't nothing, boy. You ought to know what I mean. I ain't tell you what your mama did to me. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have to stop your daddy? <laughs> Wait a minute. That's my mama. There's something about mothers. Mothers tell everything. Daddy always try to keep that image of the mom. Like she was just a little old. She ain't never done nothing wrong. But mama tell you, no, daddy ain't no good. <laughs> but the man, he won't tell how she don't cook and clean up. How he get mad. He don't tell her, she said, she's a mama. She's a good mama. You know what she did. He won't tell her, he won't bad about her. But she'll put it on him. 
I love that truth. That's no good, so they had money and give your mama nothing. Daddy just said, She's all right. She don't spend all the money, the dad don't say nothing. But we get it next week, so don't worry about it. We'll get it next week. Amen. Let, let, let it be honest. Yeah, you know, when I let Paul and stuff, I said, He knew we needed food in this house. <laughs> <laughs> put him under the bus. Won't you do it? <laughs> <laughs> 